So I've been at this problem for almost a year and today I've decided to take another kick at the cat whether I could fix it or not. Um, here is the sound sample of how my X-Pulse has been sounding off lately. After a recent, let's just say, off-roading adventure or should I say misadventure, I got the X-Pulse stuck in some sand and the engine overheated very quickly and from then I started having the valve noise. It is quite concerning. So today I am on my midnight coffee break trying to figure out if the valves are within spec or I have to do the valve adjustments all over. Now I have opened the access port so that I could uh, rotate the crankshaft, remove the wit sight cover so that I could align the witness marks and now I have to take the spark plug out. The spark plug is out and take a look at that. Right. Judging by the look of the spark plug, no extra hot spots anywhere near it and no oil deposits no blackness no puffiness of the ceramic separator and pretty good so judging by the spark plug the engine is running clean it's just that the valve train assembly as per our earlier findings is still still making a lot of noise let's remove this nice and easy or at least slowly as slowly as we can without damaging the the seal and the bolts out yeah i think so one is still on there let's get that thing out of our way right keep it someplace safe and forget about it yep we have lift off along with the gasket don't damage the gasket no way I'm going to get a new one now. Come on. Don't you? Alright. We'll inspect the gasket. See if there are any issues. Doesn't seem that way. Gasket is pretty nice. No cracks. Nothing. Sealing pretty good. Internals look okay. And here we are. We have a better lick of this entire problem child and so let's just see where to begin we'll get it rotated so that the witness marks align and then we will start our measurement there we go Of that center should I rotate clockwise or counterclockwise? Counterclockwise is the way to go. Counterclockwise it is one and two. Oh, excuse me, I need you to step back a bit and because we almost got kicked there now it seems like i am about to align the witness marks which i shall confirm just by looking at it via the sight hole okay all right i have vision and yeah, the T is about to approach. Yeah, it approached and then it went over. Now, I shall get this thing in there, nice and tight, and rotate it. OK. 
Okay. I can't. That takes some amount of strength. That's one half turn almost. Yes. Now we see something. We see some triple marks there. Alright, we'll do another turn. That's not top dead center yet. If you think that is top dead center, it's not. Because because these things are tight as frig. Tight as frig. So that doesn't count. So don't say that oh it's top dead center now. We'll give it another rotation. Okay. Not even close. Feels like it. Slowly now, slowly. We can start praying if you are a little slowly does it easy there we go there's our mark there's our mark it's coming it's about to align you gotta be very ginger careful let me just align the phone a bit and we'll reduce yeah, I saw just so that we could. Yeah. That's the mark. That's coming. It. That's it. There you go. That is dead nuts on. Let me confirm by eye. Perfecto. Perfecto. So that's how you do top dead center. And you want confirmation if it is in top dead center. Look at this. Look at this. These are free to move. So now you are at top dead center. And we can carry out our measurements now. Yo. Okay. Now my now micrometer is ready to verify the feeler gauge. And my feeler gauge will be verified to verify the valve clearance. But before we verify that. We need to know what the valve clearance is and I'm not speaking out of my ass, I'm speaking out of the owner's manual. So, right here, pay your attention, that's it, standard clearance, cold condition and the engine is cold because I'm holding it with my hands. Intake should be 0 0.07 plus 0 0.01 or minus 0 0.02. And the exhaust should be 0 0.09 plus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.02. So I told that earlier, you know that. And yeah. Did I tell you the definition of insanity? Let me find out a 0 0.071. That's 0 0.04, lose enough pitch, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, there it is. A little rusty because I didn't oil it properly, probably should do that. So, we'll try this. Let's we verify it with my micrometer. Come on, don't be a twat. There you go. And if you know how to read a micrometer, <laughs> and I seem to have forgotten it. Yeah, that's zero points there. Uh, you, you take that as zero. That's your base value. So zero point. And these are divided by some. These are ugh, like, un, I don't know, under divisions. What? But judging by the looks of it, you take that least value. That is seven. This is zero. So we got seven closest to one. To that line so it's 0 0.07 close enough for me 
now time to verify that all right let's up put just put some lights on it so we get the verification action pay attention to the area let me type this down yeah okay slide it it's going a little bit sticky there Yeah, after moving it, it's okay, but very slight amount of drag, very, very, you can feel it, quite low, I would say, yeah, if I tighten it anymore, it would just bind this up, so my the previous valve clearance of 0 0.06 was somewhat incorrect and it is actually at 0 0.07 so and if you are one of those who tried to follow my guide and or at least are thinking about trying to follow my guide to set up your valve clearance please don't because I'm doing this again eh? the situation hasn't improved anything I'm doing this again no wish no don't even bother and now this thing isn't going yeah yeah it's going nice and smooth let me get my hand out for you going in nice and smooth tick 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 dot 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 okay so now we can do the exa exhaust side and I gotta switch you around Let's go to the exhaust side. On the exhaust side now. And the exhaust should be according to the manual 0 0.09. We gotta check that. And and if you're thinking that why didn't I go with the upper level like 0 0.08 on the intake? Because the drag felt by the feeler gauge on the initial measurement was perfect. It shouldn't be more than that. If it's more than that, you're running tight and your engine will be running hot you don't want that this is the 0 0.091 so we're getting it yeah we got it okay let's get it there okay this this time you're gonna get the exact look of how it feels like So, I'll shut up for a second, just so you could listen. Okay, the dogs won't stop barking. However, I'll shut up for a second, just so you could listen. What it sounds like when the measurement is just right. So, hope you listen that along with the barking of the dogs. So, our measurements are dead on. However, this thing is still making a lot of noise. And what to do? It is being said that the BS61 is much more refined and doesn't produce as much noise at the, as the BS41. But I cannot just trust their word. Uh, if I get my hands on it, then and only then and only then i will completely or should i say partially will be able to trust them no more i'll switch off the lights nothing to see here just put the cover back on nice and slow want this bad boy there you go so the x pulse is like uh, an overcooked piece of chicken it's turned it works okay you will eat it because you have to you don't have a choice right you'll still call it chicken yeah I still call it a dual sport ADV by some people uh, off-roader okay I still call it that but I still hate this because it is unrefined AF it 
it doesn't work it does work but it is unrefined af the heat management is shit and the updated bs61 is not even getting to the dealers the dealers are saying that it's not even being produced so i don't know what is happening is hero giving up on the off-road segment i don't know something like that so please honda yamaha and suzuki release your air-cooled off-road tool sports in india 